Hello everyone, I am Dabino, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to install custom perk machines. As you can see right here, these are the stock Black Ops 3 ones, um, characters, um, <clears throat> can't hear them, swallow the drink, and there's no perk jingles by default either. However, we are going to be changing that. So there's going to be a couple things that you're going to want. Um, so you're going to need a Lua base HUD. Um, one is included in Harry's Perks, um, which you can find on Devra. I will leave a link to the perk pack in the description. Um, and you'll also need Harry's FX library for them to work properly. Um, and if you don't know how to install leak mod, I did go over that in my custom HUD uh, installation video. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well, if you want to follow that first. Alright, so once you have both packs installed, and your HUD and everything all ready to go, is what you're going to want to do, is you want to open up both these RAR files, and then you're going to just want to drag those folders onto your desktop. It's going to take a little bit, they're pretty beefy files. And then you are going to want to do with both of them. So it's FX library and his perk pack. And once you got those both on your desktop, you want to open up your mod tools launcher. You're going to find your map. Right click, open that folder, go up here, go to Black Ops 3. So, I'll just put that here on, oh, put that there on the side there. And then we're going to open up the perk pack first. <clears throat> and then here in his instruction file, if this video is a bit hard to follow, I would recommend going through the instructions. I'm going to pull them up on my second monitor here just for a refresher. It's been a little while since I've previously installed them. Um, I'm using his 3.0 pack, um, however, the pack that is up on ModMe is a bit newer, um, and also has the Cold War perk machine models as well, and jingles, as well as some extra perks in there as well, such as Elemental Pop, and some others. <clears throat> so, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go here, I'm going to take all these folders, so XM export, texture assets, source data, sound assets, share, model export, map source. Drag them into your Black Ops 3 root. It's going to take a little bit. Then to get this, just replace them. Um, and then open up the user map open me file. Open it again. And then go into your root, user maps. Find your map, and then just drag these files in there. And then it shouldn't override anything unless you already have some of his other scripts installed. Um, yeah. So then go ahead and close that. And then you're going to want to open up his FX library. Same thing here. Um, go into your root here on Black Ops 3. Take these. Pop them in there. And then I'm going to double check this readme, make sure that's all. That is all. <clears throat> then again, if it asks you to override anything, just hit yes. Um, some of the FX that come in the pack are already in the tools, but some of them are updated a little bit. And you can go ahead and close out of those. Then, for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to full screen this. Go back to your map. And then, what you want to go, that is what you're going to want to do. Scripts, ZM, scroll all the way down. And find your GSC and your CSC. Um, so 
let me get these here oh yeah then there is going to be actually here, let me just put these all in here um so you're going to want to take this control c or you can hit here and copy and then you're going to want to find perks so what i like to do here is i have to go here hp 21 perks and then just paste copy that again good do the same thing in your csc file bada bing bada boom save those then okay let me pop this back here real quick so what you're going to want to do is you want to go back to your file explorer go back to your main map ui ui editor um, menus hud then you're going to find whatever hud you're using uh, he does include a stock hud as well i'm not going to be using that i'm going to be building on top of the black ops 2 hud that we installed in the earlier video um, open that in sublime if you don't have that installed you can also just do it in a regular text editor as well then um There's going to be a line that you're going to want to find. Just hit Control F, paste that in there. All right. Looks like perks containers right here. Yes. And underneath the perk container line, you're going to add this. Uh, that's for his waypoints. That's for. Um, Vulture aid, stuff like that as well. Oh, I don't know what it just did there. But you're gonna control F again and try and find this line. Like that's in there. find where to throw this real quick I'm gonna go in here into his uh, example HUD file and just kind of see where he put a certain thing Volume's not being cooperative. <laughs> um, so it looks like Let's copy that. Just copy this from his HUD if you're following along. You can just use this HUD. It's the standard um, HUD that comes with the mod tools, uh, also from the Giant, just with some slight modifications to it. Just go under here. Save that. Should be okay. Then. You want to go back into your map CSC file here and here so CSC then you're going to find ZM user map main so scroll down you should find this right here and then yeah so if you already have a HUD that has a using such as the Black Ops 2 HUD you can skip this step, but 
using Harry's default HUD or a regular HUD where you have to throw something here in the function made in your CSC file. It's going to look something like that. It's going to be a Lua load. Um, but since we're using the Black Ops 2 HUD, we don't need that. That's all wrapped into this script right here. And then that's so what you're going to want to do after you do all this. You can close out of all that. Go back to your map folder. You want to go to sound zone config and open up the CSZ file. And then copy paste these here. So then underneath user aliases, you're just going to control C, control V that. Save. Go back to your map file. Um, zone source. Go to your zone. And then is where you're going to want to paste in is an include file. Uh, normally you can put it anywhere in the function or in the zone. Most people recommend putting it up here underneath the class and group. However, I just throw it down here. And that's all good there. Then after that, we are going to open up Radiant. And then once you get Radiant opened, um, just go over here. Um, and then just open up Entity Info. My Radiant view is going to look a little bit different than yours, but that's okay. Select one of your perk machines. Go here to Model. Um, hit the little three dots. You want to go up file, and then you're going to want to find Hario Bio 21 Prefabs Perks. Then, since this is Quick Revive, you're going to want to find Revive. Might lag a little bit. That's normal. And then there you go. This is the Wolf, or the Cold War model. Um, if you can do some digging online and try and find the original models, um, that or I can link you to a slightly older pack that I have up on Mega. And then you want to do the same thing for all the perks. So this one is Jug. That. <clears throat> See the same thing there. Then slide a hand. Perks. Slight. And double tap. Oh yeah, uh, since Double Tap wasn't in Cold War, it's just the regular model, um, which you can replace for any other perk. So let's say you want, uh, let's see, if you want PhD Flopper, you can do that too. There you go. You got PhD. Looking all sexy and gorgeous and whatnot. And then I'm also going to show you some of the other perks as well. So I'm just going to drag this over here. I'm going to extend the wall a little bit. And then you can go here to your prefab browser as well. Um, ZM, here you go, 21 prefabs, uh, perks. And then if you want, Let's say element to pop, just drag and drop it in. And you can do the same thing for all these dot map files right here. Then as well as the wonder fizz. 
So there we go, there's Elemental Pop, and then I will throw the Wonder Fizz in here as well. And this one is the Black Ops 3 Wonder Fizz, um, not the Cold War Wonder Fizz. If you want the Cold War Wonder Fizz, there is one up on Devra. And then this guy right here, we're also going to want to change. Perks. It's going to be... Yeah, I know it is perks. Never mind. And this one right here. This weapon upgrade spawnable. It looks the exact same. Uh, he just fixed some lighting and sounds. And then that is all that you have to do here in Radiant. And then you can go ahead and compile Light Link and run your map. And I will get back to you once we're in game. Hello guys. Future Dabino here. Um, I was not able to get the perks to properly work with the with Kyle's HUD. Um, I'm gonna chalk it up to me being a little dumb here um, because I don't know Lua myself, and it's probably a simple fix. Um, but for this video's purpose, um, I'm just gonna use the HUD that Harry included in the pack. Um, so. To properly install his version of HUD, go into your CSC, go here, uh, add a little load, and then the path. Um, and again, if you're still lost, open up his instructions. He explains it a bit better than I do. But if you also have the Black Ops 2 HUD as well, you're going to want to comment that out. Um, and then same thing for your GSC. And in your zone. Um, so sorry about that. All right. And as you can see, after some trial and error, we now have perks. Go up here. Hear the jingle. And you hear the bird. And you know, same thing works with all of them. PSG Flopper. This one will make you immune to explosive damage. And give you a cluster grenade. And then the pop. Then you got the Wonder Fizz. Yep. And then, that's all to this tutorial, folks. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have any ideas of um, any other tutorials, just let me know. Alright, happy modding, guys.